Approximately 350 miles away, Belfast, the capital city of Northern Ireland. Unlike Paul's relationship with Islam, Nabir and his family were born into Islam. My name is Nabir Othman. I'm originally from Qatar, Malaysia. Been here since early 2003. And uh, first time that I came here, I worked with uh, Belfast Islamic Center. Then I moved uh, to uh, another job, and currently I'm working in a uh, food processor. My qualification is uh, Islamic studies. Um, that, that's um, uh, why I came here as, uh, you know, to work as a, a minister of religion. I've got three children, one daughter and two sons. They are all, you know, like grown up. Um, they are 17, 15 and 13. I was born in um, Gaddaf, Malaysia. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was born. I was born in Johor Bahru in Malaysia, and I lived there for four years before I came here. My dad got a job here at BIC, so he moved here first, and then my mom became a student in Queens, so we all moved here. At first, it was difficult being a Muslim in Belfast because you know I wore a headscarf and I was different, so no one really, you know accepted me, but then later on um, I made more friends then now they kind of accept me more and then since everybody knows about Muslims um, they kind of understand you know my religion and how I dress and everything. So me and my brothers, I get along more with the first brother which is Anis. He's currently in Belfast Royal Institute Academy and he is currently doing his GCSEs. He's 16 years old, so we, me and him get along more because of the smaller age gap. And yeah, we fight a lot as well. But in the end, we, we kind of understand each other. And for the younger one, Adam, I tend to take care of him more because like he's the youngest one and our age gap is pretty big. Um, he's, only, he's just started his school in first year. Since he's just started first year in high school and I've nearly ended my year in high school, I can share more of my experiences with him. For Shifa and her family, being a Muslim in Northern Ireland is a different experience as compared to that of Malaysia. Belfast is a really small area, so we all personally know each other. It's different compared to like major cities in the UK, such as London and Manchester. Only there is it's only. Um... Uh, Belfast Islamic Center that I think as a you know the place that we can go for praying. Belfast Islamic Center is considered to be the main hub for the Muslim community in Northern Ireland. The current premises of Belfast Islamic Center are very small. The house which is a converted house was bought in 1986 by a uh, number of Muslim families. For me in Ramadan, the mosque is completely different. The, the, the number of people coming every night is, is different. Some people, I never see them during the year except in Ramadan. You know, I come to see them every day in Ramadan, so it is very special to, to us. Last September, we managed to buy a new house which is very close by the Belfast Islamic Center or the current premises, it's not far away. It's in University Road in front of Queen's University and very close to the city uh, hospital and to the city center. We applied for the planning permission to change the usage of, the, of this uh, property. We are waiting to hear from the planning permission to go and you know, convert this building, the new building, into a big Islamic center. There will be a very big prayer room that can accommodate around 1,000 people in one time. And also we will have classrooms, we will be having a cafe uh, or a restaurant, a social area and many other, uh, you know, areas because it's a really, really big building.
after I embraced Islam, some of my friends they were very wary of what I'd done, and you know they they didn't like it, uh, and often because of what they thought Islam was. Uh, I could I could understand that as well because Islam wasn't the first religion I was, was looking into when I was looking into religions. But then there was also a lot of people who were supportive, and they said, you know, I'm glad you found your way. My parents have generally been supportive, so yeah, I'm appreciative of that. You know? When I embraced Islam, it was it become part of who I was. But I'm also still Paul Armstrong. I'm still, I'm still. It's a growth of the person I was before. It's not like suddenly I've changed and become an entirely different being. I haven't changed my culture. I'm not trying to be an Arab or a Pakistani, as some people have thought. It's a way that I understand religion, and it helps me. Uh, it helps me get closer to Allah, and that's that's what it's about, and help me be a better human being. I'm actually a computer engineer. This is what I, I was doing before I, I took on the role of the Association of British Muslims. There's so many different things going on at the moment. Then, you know, like I could be doing admin work, I could be going to a conference, I could be going to meetings, uh, writing articles, uh, doing TV programs. It's, there's all sorts of things going on. Similar to Paul, albeit in a slightly different vein, Nabir's work demands a high level of physical strength and mental concentration. Personally, with my work, it is a physical uh, work. Basically, the workplace is what to produce a halal meat, and then um, I have to ensure all the, uh, you know, from from the beginning, which means that from the the preparation according to the halal as well as the, um, the standard of the production. This Ramadan, things take a turn for Nabir and his family as the family plans for an unexpected change. 